Excuse me. Oh, hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. It's the day of the Joker 77. Yeah. You know what's in the title? So we're just gonna get right into it. Yeah. Okay, let's keep this over here so you do not see the titles I've picked. I am starting off with this new series called My Top Ten. I'll be... Well, this will be multiple parts, so I'll entirely episodes. Entirely episodes. Excuse me, the criteria we are looking for is audio, visual... Story. Oh, what else? Uh, yeah, that's that. Yeah, let's just do three criteria right there. <sighs> you, you, you type. Anyway. Oh, I'm experimenting with this new video. See if this takes off. Hopefully, we will. Sorry, I have a fan on it. Anyway, oh boy, oh boy, I stopped. Anyway, let's get into it. And yes, I will list off, if I remember correctly, the sound formats per 4K, because some of them can be different. Okay. The second favorite movie of mine. No, third favorite actually. I don't have the I don't have the four K of the V Avengers and Avengers Endgame, so anyway. Black Panther is visually stunning in four K, just the audio is just explosive. Um, especially during um uh, during the intro of the movie, and, sorry, I thought I saw my phone, you know, moving down, you know, just slow sliding down, motherfucker, I'm high, and, obviously, it's more emotionally heavy now, because of the little story-wise, um, anyway, Dumbly Hat Mouse really does it justice, <laughs> Jesus, especially during the beginning, um, during the fight scenes, during the Korea um, scenes, which is really cool, shines very well. Very, very bass heavy, just clear, crystal clear sound and dialogue, and uh, the music it just works. Oh, anyway. Visually, it really shines with all the different colors. There's, well, let's see, there's mainly purples, um, a lot of black, you know, it's just like, they just mix colors like you would not believe with the costume and everything. Ooh. Yeah. 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 Oh my god, this video is going to be hard. <laughs> Try to get through this as quickly as possible. Black Hawk Down, I have not gone around to watching the extended version because I'm still waiting to get um, a 4K player, but I do have digital copies of Undedis, so of every single one of 4Ks. So, I can watch the 4K. Unfortunately, it's only on physical disc, though the extended edition of 4K is still good. I got it. Hey. Black Hawk Down, mm. favorite war movie of mine, actually, favorite, favorite, hold on, thank you, phone, thank you, sorry, I'm going to record from my laptop, sorry, nose itch, um, mm, very good war movie, um, did get the, what was it, what was it nominated for, or won awards for, uh, Oh, that's right, it was best sound editing, um, best visual effects, like this movie won insane awards. Oh boy. Boy oh boy, is that a good one. Ooh, 
so far, 10 out of both of these. Okay. Oh, now, okay, so we've gone from superhero to war genre, you know, war action. Now we tap into the horror genre, which is my bread and butter. I love horror movies. 40th anniversary edition of Alien on 4K blows my mind. I prefer the director's cut, which you actually got on digital if you um, own the 4K. Because the Blu-ray only has the um, director's cut. And the 4K on disc has the theatrical. Which I can say theatrical. Thank you very much. Anyway. Uh, believe it was doubly atmos for Black Hawk Down. I'm looking. Ooh, motherfucker. You son of a bitch. Where is it? Oh, doubly atmos. Thank you very much. Now, Alien, uh, like Warner Brothers does, for example, was DTS HD Master Audio 5.1. Not bad for transferred to different formats. Next. The Dark Knight Rises. Same and same audio as Alien, but just a lot more bass heavy and just more surround heavy for both the 4K and the Blu-ray. Um, I only saw this on Blu-ray. I have not watched the 4K of it yet, which I cannot wait to watch that. Oh my god, so many of my 4Ks I have watched on disc. Mm. At least I'm using the Blu-ray. Hey, I'm using them. I'm using them. New edition is Halloween Kills. The extended cut is the only version I will watch in 4K. It is oh, so spectacular. Especially, like, you know, during really tense moments, the um, Deadly Atmos really shines. And the, uh, the visuals also just add on to it. Yep, Double Vision, Double Atmos, yep. Um, this is from Universal, just like its predecessor after the 1978 um, original came in 2018, which is direct sequel, then this is a sequel, then a Halloween ends, this is a sequel. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. So this is more of the horror we just got back into. Um, superhero. I know I'm not covering story. I'm trying to get through this. Possibly. <laughs> oh my god, this one is so good. I don't care what people say. This one's a damn good one. Scare the shit out of me. Really good picked up from where we left off. The Invisible Man. This one, I believe, is Deputy at is Deputy at the Moss and Deputy Vision. Yay. Yay. Another universal 4K of mine. Ooh, I remember I got this for a birthday order. The can the case just came cracked a little bit, but that's fine. That to fine. Oh, but it's so good. So good at 4K. I mean just fucking awesome, but damn good one because it scared me. There's a one scene from the attic where he's crawling up and splashes the paint that made me jump out of my skin. Okay. Another one of my favorites is John Wick. <laughs> what can I say about John Wick that has not been said by anybody else? Ooh. Was it the, uh... Oh, what was it? The, uh... That club, that mafia club is... Red something. Red something. Read something. Can't remember. Anyway, yeah, that big one uh, down in the bathhouse, that's what I'm thinking of. Woo! Man, that is just tense. Oof. Damn, you don't fuck with this guy and his dog, bro. Don't do it. You fuck with this car. Oh, God, just add on more rounds. He's gonna use them. You. <laughs> just saying. That's how John Wick takes revenge. 
Oh, we're still now we're really in the superhero genre. Holy shit, that's how we're ending this. Black Widow. Oh my dear God. Jeez. Oof. Black Widow is a masterpiece. Ooh. 4K is just so beautiful, and Blu-ray shines as well. You have to admit. Oh. Something about a disc you can't get with digital. Something about it feels more complete. Oh, the detail on the slips. Oh man, the slip covers are beautiful. Yep, most of the, all these are doubly Atmos, if I'm correct. I think every single one, except for another one of my collection, is um, doubly Atmos. Punisher, OG Punisher here. Ray Stevenson could not live up to. Uh, yeah, this is doubly Atmos. On digital, from what I've seen. Oh, lordy, 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 lordy. You hear every single piece of the action audio. Doesn't matter what it is, you hear it. They make you feel it. Venom, let there be carnage. Another new edition. Yeah, this is another new edition I got it for my birthday last February. <clears throat> Look, other ones. <laughs> God, I remember the unboxing. That was insane. Yeah, some unboxings I'll do on Instagram, some I'll do for YouTube. Yeah, that sort of shit. <laughs> Let there be courage. That was a good one, actually. Horror vibes are coming off of it, just like the first one. So both of them, horror vibes, dude. Last but not least, at number 10 is Zack Snyder's Justice League. Some say the story is not so concrete. Well, I would disagree. The extended cut is the actual storyline. And the Blu ray is all I've seen, but at most, phew. yeah, you get it both on 4K and the Blu ray. Wow. Oh, it's doubly almost true HD. Holy shit. Well, they do not. Best around with audio. Whew. Okay, so hopefully this is a good test run on how you like it. I don't know. If you want more of these, just let me know. You can pick a genre. I'll see what I got, and I will make a list out of it. Mind you, there's over 500 titles to choose from, so, you know, pick a genre. I am sure I have it already. <laughs> Anyway, see you guys later.